even get to Ross. Hello, uh, YouTube, and welcome back to Wesley Eye Tech. So, um, right here I have my channel, and as you can see on this video here, I like the new, new thing. On this video here, it taught you how to fix this problem. We shouldn't get into the server, and I got too many thank yous from this guy and this guy and this guy but people like this guy said it doesn't work and people like this guy also said it doesn't work and people like this guy said it didn't work what do you do well if this doesn't work for you you probably click the annotation on it to go to this video and now you're wondering how to make it work and I'm going to show you three troubleshoots on how to make this work Mac and Windows so let's get right into it okay so what you want to do is uh, for troubleshoot number one is so I told you to erase the options.txt file so what you want to do is to do that you want to go to go and this is this part is for Mac getting to them you want to get to your minecraft folder so you go to go you hold option on your keyboard click library you go to app app application support um, and then minecraft Minecraft and you'll have this Minecraft folder where it should look something like this I don't know but you'll have this file and I told you in the last video to get rid of that so you wanna get it out of your Minecraft folder like just by dragging it out I'm not gonna do it though and you're gonna just drag it out of your Minecraft folder now I told you to do this and obviously it didn't work for you if you're watching this video. So um you'll when you launch Minecraft after you drag it out, it will recreate itself. So you might have to drag it out multiple times. So you could drag it out again. And you could drag it out you and then you launch Minecraft. It still doesn't work, and you'll see that this file has been recreated inside your Minecraft folder. So you drag it out again, and you launch Minecraft. You see it's been recreated. Um, and you drag it out again, and again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. What? 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 <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. Well, if that doesn't work for you, then you should do this. You should go back to that Minecraft folder we were talking about earlier in troubleshoot number one. And in here, you see all this stuff. You want to find the folder called Saves. In this folder called Saves, there will be a series of folders. Each one is one of your worlds. So I have this example world that needs to be that we want to back up um, we want to back this up cuz we're about to reinstall forge and we don't want any of our data being corrupted so what you do is you create a new folder on your desktop then create another new folder finally create a third new folder call the third folder mod backups Called the second folder world backup and called the first folder minecraft backups then put mod backups and world backups into minecraft backups then open minecraft backups then go to world backups Go back to that folder called saves 
and drag all your worlds, this is my only world at present, this example world, um, and drag all your worlds, no matter how many there are, into your world backups folder. So just drag them in. Or if you're on Windows, do whatever. Then you want to back up your mods. So you go to your mods folders. You'll see a series of different types of files here. Do not back up 1.7.10, but anything else you should drag into your mod backups folder. I don't have any mods at present. Great, now all your Minecraft data is backed up. Close that and close that. Then go to your browser and open a new tab. Then go to Forge. 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 Minecraft Forge. Then, whatever version of Minecraft you use. So whatever version your world backup is, you want to go to that version. So 1.7.10, let's say. And then, you don't want to download the latest. Do not download the latest. The latest is evil. You want to download the recommended. And don't download the changelog, the installer, win, the SRC, or the universal. Only download the recommended installer. Download that and then install Minecraft Forge. Yay. So, now that we've back, we've done that, you want to go back into your Minecraft and go back into your Minecraft and you should see a brand new Forge profile here. A brand new Forge profile. Uh, do that. Do that brand new Forge profile. And then once you're on that brand new Forge profile, go to uh, Play Minecraft, create a new world, and make sure everything works. Once you you've made sure everything works with that new Forge profile, delete the, the test Minecraft world and go back into the Minecraft folder. Then go to save, drag all your worlds you backed up from your world backups folder into your saves folder. Then drag all your mods folder, all your mods into, your, into this mods folder here then all your data should be back into Minecraft. Remember to check and make sure that Minecraft works before you put your data back in. Okay. So, yay. If, if that doesn't work, I do have a troubleshoot number three, but that is very dangerous. I am going to put that on the end of this video, but keep in mind that is dangerous. So, yes. Now it is time for the dangerous troubleshoot number three. Okay guys, so again, I do not take any responsibility for things that happen in troubleshoot number three, two, or one, but nothing will happen in one or two, but that is not guaranteed with three. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your applications and find Minecraft. When you find Minecraft, move it to trash and empty trash. Go to that Minecraft folder we were talking about earlier and delete the Minecraft folder and empty your trash. Then go to Minecraft.net. Log in and re-download and install Minecraft. Then, re-download and install Minecraft Forge, whichever version your backed up worlds are. Then, go to your backed up worlds and drag your world backups, your, your worlds, into the new, fresh saves folder. And drag and drop that into the new saves folder 
that you reinstalled. With your mods, go to your new fresh mods folder. Again, this is all in the same place as it was before. And drag all your mods, backups, into your mods, into your new fresh mods folder. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you ha hope that your Minecraft. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Wesley Air Tech. Now sometimes you get this error. So at the end of videos, sometimes when you're watching them on YouTube and you're watching a video on YouTube, sometimes at the like towards the end of the video, this error will pop up. Shutting down YouTube's internal server. And it's really annoying because the ending is the best part of any video. Similar to Minecraft shutting down internal server when you're trying to play Forge, um, Shutting down YouTube's internal server is a YouTube error, error you get when watching YouTube videos um, on YouTube. So, to fix this entire issue, you want to fix this entire problem, right? Like, anybody wants to fix this problem. You always want to watch the ends of your videos, right? Or of other people's videos, because the ending is always the best part of any video or movie or anything. So, you want to go to this web page, and it's called Wesley R. Tech. You just type it, in it to, into any browser, and the first thing that pops up should be Wesley R. Tech. Now, to fix this entire issue, you gotta, you got to click the red button right here. That's how you fix this entire issue. You just click the big red button, and your entire issue is solved. And you can now watch videos from beginning to end. I hope you enjoyed. And, yeah. Thanks for watching.